Hello, welcome to Liverpool FC News Today channel. Liverpool came from behind to avoid an FA Cup third round upset against Shrewsbury at the weekend. And they did it with a team brimming with academy, reared youngsters. Elijah Dixon, Bonner and Max Weltman were handed first, ever senior starts whilst Kate Gordon and Tyler Morton enhanced their burgeoning reputations with impressive showings, Gordon setting Liverpool on their way by cancelling out Shrewsbury's opener. It was a clear sign that Jurgen Klopp is prepared to give youth a chance at first team level. And it will have given hope to six players currently out on loan away from Manfield. Here, we check in on how those half dozen players got on at the weekend. The Dutch defender played the full 120 minutes as Preston exited the FA Cup away at fellow championship side Cardiff. The 20 year old will not have been happy with either of the goals his side conceded. He gave away possession for the opener and despite Daniel Johnson's penalty forcing extra time, another defensive error ended up costing North End. One to forget for Van Den Berg. Davis has, in the main, been a regular starter for Sheffield United this season. He's made 14 appearances so far but has missed the Blades' last two games. He sat out their 3,0 defeat away at Premier League side Wolves. The only reasons given for his absence by manager Paul Heckingbottom is personal reasons. Davis, who has yet to make an appearance for his parent club, is scheduled to spend the entirety of the campaign at Bramall Lane. The centre, half has endured a tough time since arriving at championship side Swansea City at the start of the season. He has made just seven appearances in total and his bit part role continued on Saturday when he managed just six minutes off the bench in the Swans 3,2 extra time defeat at home to Southampton. His appearance came after Shane Long had scored the fifth and ultimately decisive goal of the contest. Boss Russell Martin has spoken about the lack of playing time for Williams, but it remains to be seen whether the 20 year old will remain in Wales for the rest of the season or recalled and then sent back elsewhere before the month is out. Ojo sparkled in Millwall's FA Cup meeting with London rivals Crystal Palace. In the first half especially, he proved a constant menace. Unfortunately for the Lions their visitors roared back to come from behind and seal progression. But for Ojo, who was making his 16th appearance of the season, many supporters felt it was his biggest contribution yet. He was taken off after 81 minutes and will now be aiming for a fourth start in a row when Millwall welcome Nottingham Forest next weekend. The new Port County Loney made his first start for two months in Saturday's 2,0 loss at home to Salford in League Two. He showed bright glimpses and came close to notching his first senior goal but it proved to be a tough afternoon against Gary Bowyer's side. Kane was taken off midway through the second half but will have been happy for the run, out as he aims to string together a consistent run of games for County, who occupy the final play, off spot. Striker Glatzel made his first appearance for Tranmere Rovers in over a month at the weekend. He came off the bench late on in Rovers' emphatic 4,0 win over struggling Scunthorpe. That was his 15th outing for Mickey Mellon's side. <laughs>